Hey folks, Tristan here, back again with another ND update video. Sorry it's been quiet for a bit, however, we do have a good excuse. We've been working hard on ND version 2, and it's finally ready for release. V2 marks a new chapter in ND, encompassing some significant changes, a ton of quality of life fixes, new operators and features, and a brand new asset library packed with geometry nodes powered operators. This video is just a quick overview of the most significant updates. We'll be posting more videos and tutorials soon, covering the full details. So strap yourselves in and let's get started. The first thing most of you will notice with V2 is the paradigm shift for managing utility objects. Historically, ND has kept util objects in a dedicated utils collection. However, in an effort to further align ND's ways of working with newer and more advanced Blender patterns, such as multiple scenes, cross-project appending and linking, and the asset browser, we've decided to change things up. What this means moving forward is that ND will no longer store utilities in a dedicated collection. Instead, it'll parent and keep them with their targets. This means a few things. One, it'll make finding utilities much easier in large or complicated scenes as they'll always be located under their target in the scene hierarchy. Two, moving a hierarchy from one scene to another brings along any of its utilities. They are no longer left behind orphaned in the utils collection. Three, you can have as many scenes as you want in a single Blender project, eliminating the need for any awkward utils collection management. Four, you can link or append an object hierarchy from one Blender project to another, and all the associated utilities are included. And five, any hierarchies marked as assets also include the relevant utilities when imported into another project from the asset browser. As you can see, this feels significantly more integrated with Blender and far more intuitive. Now, alongside the existing utility management operators and shortcuts, we've introduced the Capture Utils operator, Using this, you can quickly identify all active utilities in your scene or use its alternative mode to grab all utilities associated with just the objects you have selected. Combine this with the other existing utility management operators that ND offers and you'll never have a reason to look back at the old utilities collection. Next on the list is a highly requested operator, a version of Edge Bevel that works with Blender's attributes. This operator will only be available when using ND on Blender 4.3 or higher. This new version of Edge Bevel, unlike the original version, allows you to create multiple unique Edge Bevels with different parameters, all non-destructively. While on the topic of bevels, all bevel-related operators now also allow you to switch the width type between offset, width, depth, percent, and absolute, giving you more flexibility and control right from the overlay. Before we move on to the next update, I'd like to extend a massive thank you to all our Patreons and those of you who have donated through Gumroad or Superhive. ND is an entirely free and open source project and your donations help support the hundreds of hours we put into development and the tutorials, content and resources we make available for the community. If you don't already support us and would like to, we have a few tiers available on our Patreon for those who have the means for ongoing support Otherwise, you can choose to support us with a once-off donation by purchasing ND on Gumroad, Superhive, or our latest support post on Patreon. We'll leave the links for each option in the video description. And now, back to the updates. We have something entirely new for ND packed into this release, an integrated asset library. Nice. In a previous version of ND, we introduced a couple of GN-powered operators, those being the pipe and hold generators. Those worked out great, however, it got us thinking, given the power of geometry nodes, what if we instead started working on a core set of atomic and composable modifiers that would allow you to create more than just some pre-baked generators could? So Ian and I put our heads together, and over the course of a month or so, we built a whole library, now available for free with NDV2. Notably, however, since geometry nodes are constantly evolving, we had to establish a minimum version for our new asset library, which is Blender 4.5 LTS. If you're running an earlier version of Blender, ND will continue to work as it always has, you'll just miss out on the new GN-powered operators. So, assuming you're running Blender 4.5 or higher, you can install this new asset library from the NDN panel menu, or download and manually install it as a standalone package from any of our distribution platforms. 
It comes with a heap of helpful operators that replace some of the original built-in ND operators, improving on their stability, ease of use, and flexibility, as well as a few completely new ones. We've also included a bunch of prefabs out of the box, which you can use to both save time and learn how to compose these new modifiers together to create non-destructive and procedural hard surface objects. Now, of course, we won't just leave it at that. We're busy working on a few follow-up videos to this one, which will dive deeper into it, so stay tuned for that. We'll also continue to publish more asset library content in upcoming indie releases. Beyond what I've already mentioned, we've invested a significant amount of work in fixing and improving numerous small details across the entire ND ecosystem. We look forward to hearing what you think and seeing what you create with it. That's it for now. Enjoy.